Moose are humongous and easy to spot, weighing in at an average of 1,200 pounds or 630 kilograms for males. The antlers alone can weigh 50 pounds. At about half the weight of a small car, a collision with a moose can be perilous. In Alaska, about 800 moose-related accidents occur each year. In North America, the size of the moose goes up the farther west the moose resides. So Alaskan moose are about double the size of Maine moose. We call this animal a moose here in America, but in Northern Eurasia, where they are also found, they call them elk. We have another animal we refer to as elk. Scientists refer to moose as Alsus alsus, and there are eight subspecies. Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome to my channel where I talk about wildlife and organic gardening. You can check out my books in the description. Males grow antlers annually, so in spring, the antlers are covered in velvet, a layer of hairy skin that provides blood and nutrients to the growing antlers. In summer, the antlers harden and the velvet is shed. Moose will use their antlers for defense against predators and to clear snow away from vegetation. They will also use their antlers to fight another male moose, usually over a girl. Also, antlerless moose will use their powerful front legs to fight as well. Antlers naturally fall off in the winter and are an important part of the ecosystem. Birds, small mammals, and rodents gnaw on the antlers as they are full of nutrients and minerals. If you live in one of the northern states, moose tracks are easy to spot. Moose have poor eyesight and are nearsighted and can't see very far away. They rely on their sense of smell and hearing to warn them of danger. Like horses, their eyes are on the side of their head, which leads to blind spots. Moose have a dewlap, that long bell of hair under their chins. It's thought to be a sensory organ and is used during the rut to spread their scent. Moose are fabulous swimmers and will swim across large lakes. They can swim six miles an hour. The first moose I ever saw in the wild was while canoeing in Montana. It was pretty exciting. Moose are herbivores and in the summer are often seen in ponds and marshlands because they love to eat aquatic grasses and water lilies. They can hold their breath for over 30 seconds and dive down to grab submerged plants. The Algonquin name for the moose is moose, M-O-O-S, and means twig eater. Willow, aspen, birch, and other browse are their favorite foods during the winter months. An adult moose needs to eat 70 pounds of food a day to sustain good health in the summertime. An interesting fact, unlike other members of the deer family, a moose cannot digest hay very well. Their bodies can't handle the fiber. This is one reason that moose are difficult to domesticate. So what eats moose? Wolves are their primary predator. Wolves hunt together in packs and can take down an adult moose. In some areas of the country where wolves have been indiscriminately hunted, the moose population has risen, causing stress on certain plant populations. Remember, nature needs the balance of predators and prey animals. The only other natural predator of the moose is the bear. Grizzlies will often prey on young moose. Baby moose are called calves, and the parents are cows and bulls, just like with livestock. Typically, one calf is born after an eight-month gestation period. However, when food is abundant, then the cow may have twins. Calves stay with mom for the first year. She will run them off when she is getting ready to give birth again the following spring. Don't let those gangly legs fool ya. At five days old, a moose calf can outrun a human. 
Moose calves grow quickly, sometimes gaining two or three pounds a day. Moose have something in common with polar bears. Their outer hairs are hollow. This provides insulation in the winter and also gives them buoyancy when swimming. In Russia, there are some experimental farms to explore using moose as a domesticated animal, similar to cows for milk production. Dr. Minev has studied moose in terms of domestication. One of the challenges, like we discussed before, is that moose have a very specific diet. While moose populations are listed as the least concern, numbers in North America have been declining since the 1990s. This is primarily due to hunting and habitat loss. In some states, such as Minnesota, moose populations have dropped by 58% over the past decade. One way to save moose populations is to build wildlife crossings on highways to prevent wildlife from entering the roads. These reduce traffic accidents and help save animals. Suburban sprawl has reduced habitat and moose have become more commonly seen in urban areas. This can lead to more conflict with humans. Moose deserve their place in the wild. These humongous deer are fascinating and important creatures. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.